Now to our border report. Governor Abbott tried to order DPS to shut down six ports of entry along our southern border to fight a massive influx of migrants in recent days. But that move was quickly stopped by the Biden administration. It's the latest in his border security efforts, which all began earlier this year with Operation Lone Star. Over the summer, the governor directed troopers to arrest migrants for criminal trespassing. Now they're focusing on ports of entry. The migrants are coming to the POEs, so we're going to link up with our partners and we're going to shut down those POEs. We're going to make it difficult for anybody to come across. In July, the governor ordered the Texas Department of Criminal Justice to convert the Briscoe unit into jail to house migrants arrested during Operation Lone Star. That's now extended to another unit, the Segovia unit in Edinburgh. So far, there are 833 migrants detained in the Briscoe unit and 42 in Segovia. Now let's take a live look from our Sky Tracker Network. This is going to be in Washington, D.C. The U.S. Capitol is on high alert ahead of the far right Justice for J6 rally scheduled for tomorrow. Crews have installed perimeter fencing around the U.S. Capitol building. Rally organizers say they plan to protest the ongoing criminal cases of some 600 people charged after the deadly riot on January 6th by supporters of former President Trump. U.S. Capitol Police have asked the Department of Defense for the National Guard to be ready to help with security if needed over the weekend. President Biden is working to unite Democrats around his $3.5 trillion human infrastructure plan ahead of the House's return to the Capitol next week. Washington correspondent Jesse Tenor joins us with the inner party debate. We can build an economy that gives working people a fair shot this time. President Biden continues to pitch his $3.5 trillion human infrastructure plan, not only to American families, but also the Democrats who are still on the fence. My plan benefits ordinary Americans, not those at the top who don't need the help. The president's proposal would provide free preschool and community college and make daycare, child care, and elder care more affordable. It would also lower prescription drug costs by giving Medicare the power to negotiate prices. We can invest in our people giving our families a little help with their toughest expenses. But other than the plan's price tag, This is insanity. It is fiscally irresponsible. Prescription drug pricing has become the latest divide among progressive and moderate Democrats. Oregon Congressman Kurt Schrader was one of three Democrats to vote against the current provision in committee and criticized the overall process. In one month, we're put together a $3.5 trillion bill. It has no chance of passing the Senate. President Biden also still has to unite his party over how he plans to fund the majority of his economic agenda, raising taxes on wealthy Americans and large corporations. It's about time working people got the tax breaks in this country. And that was Jesse Tenor reporting. Now two stories we're following online. The IRS is sending out its third round of child tax credit payments. Plus, TikTok is removing devious licks videos from platform amid complaints from schools. And you can celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month with Sabre Latino as they highlight recipes from the best Hispanic chefs from across the nation. For more on these stories, just head over to CW39.com.